Let's talk about uh, the switch mode power supply for our class D power amplifier. I think that uh, this is actually a biggest challenge right now to find a switch mode power supply that is the high power enough uh, to cater the power capability of our power amplifier and a small form factor that uh, we can fit it into a smaller casing just like them. Um, the one that I'm uh, having it right now, a uh, casing my class D power amplifier, the TPA3255. And this is the content of my video today. I hope uh, you like it and you participate in it. Um, if you know a small form factor power supply, please uh, let me know on the comment. Or you can directly send email to me, SMS or WeChat. Uh, Facebook, mm, sorry for that. Facebook cannot work in China. All right, let's go for the discussion. Guys, uh, if you don't know that the power supply takes 50% uh, of the power amplifier systems, uh, when I say it took 50%, uh, uh, that means 50% uh, uh, belong to the main source of power, that is the switchwood power supply, or the standard uh, power supply with a transformer, a rectifier, and filtering, and another 50% uh, belong to the power amplifiers that compose of 100%. 50% power supply, 50% for the class D power amplifier module like the TPA325X series, let's just say TPA3255. And uh, the challenge right now as I'm talking about is the power supply. And you know why? It's because it's big and quite noisy. And I don't like that one actually you know that uh, to have a power supply like uh, I'm talking about here the Swiss mode power supply the one that I borrowed from um, uh, a guy from uh, the group uh, a troublemaker here in Shenzhen China and then eventually he gave it to me for free actually because um, he thought that uh, I need it uh, for my hobby for my experiment uh, and this is, you know, this one. It's not with me right now, but take a look at this uh, on my B-roll. This is the 48 volts. Uh, this is about uh, 600 watt of powers. I think it's 800 watts of powers. Uh, and that's really, really good enough uh, for uh, powering up uh, the TPA3255. This uh, requires the main source of power, which is uh, the perfect match them. But uh, the problem is that uh, it's quite big actually and very noisy because of its fun and it just cannot uh, satisfy my listening pleasure. Again, I discussed in the last video about the difference between listening pleasure and a critical uh, listening. I'm just go with the listening pleasure, the music that I like. Uh, and uh, the disadvantage really for my setup right now is really on the power supply and that is why i'm discussing right now or probably uh, some of the guys watching uh, this video right now have uh, more experience on dealing with the switch mode power supply that is used for audio i think that uh, i would be glad to listen and learn something about uh, the power supply from you guys uh, who is viewing this video you know, I'm stressing here the switch mode power supply or in short name as SMPS uh, because I'm not going into the traditional analog uh, uh, power supply that composed of an, an isolation transformer or a step-down transformer, the rectifier and filtering. It will work but it's gonna be bulky, bulkier than the switch mode power supply and it's more heavier. And there is also a drawback about this one, not including the cost, uh, but also that uh, at maximum power output of the power amplifier, this analog power supply tend to uh, drop down the voltage, which means to say that you cannot uh, maximize the power output of this uh, class D power amplifier module. And that is the reason why I'm stressing here to make use of an SMPS. Uh, I'm just chilling here at the Starbucks, uh, just waiting for the result of my medical. That's called the blood chemistry. And it's still here. 
they got from the blood. And I thought of uh, taking this video as uh, my mind actually, personally speaking, honestly speaking, I'm still thinking about uh, my class power amplifier. What I'm trying to do in here is to find a power supply that is the that I can fit uh, inside uh, this uh, enclosure, the like standard enclosure that I'm doing right now. And I just cannot find it. Uh, I even searched uh, in the e-commerce here in uh, the mainland China. I even personally go to the um, biggest electronic center in Asia, probably the biggest electronics in the world. That is the Staiga, the Huachang Bay Center in the downtown Shenzhen. And I just cannot uh, find it there. Uh, I mean, what I'm trying to find is the standard uh, power supply that uh, don't have fun, similar to the power supply of our laptop uh, or our um, our standard uh, uh, power amplifiers uh, that is externally uh, powered, like, like this one. This is the sample that I'm trying to do. I mean, trying to find. And I just can't find uh, the right power supply, but a low amperes which means to say that i can only utilize uh, the power amplifier into its uh, maybe 40 percent then let me put that one in terms of uh, amperage and voltage uh, like uh, 48 volts uh, 2 amperes 48 volts uh, uh, 3.5 ampere that is the maximum i guess i can find uh, uh, 32 volts uh, which is also low amperage 24 volts, 8 amperes. I think that is the highest one. But what I need is about at least uh, 600 watt. Let's just say for that. So if I need about, uh, let's say, 48 volts, and then uh, um, my computation is uh, That should be 600 divided by 48, and I need about uh, 12 amperes. Let's just say, for sake of, I need 400 400 watt and divided by uh, 48 volts and I need 8 amperes so that is the minimum that I'd like to find in the real market that is a 400 watt and you're gonna multiply that one with the losses or the efficiency of the power amplifier because the, let's just say uh, we got 80% efficiency for argument's sake and I'm gonna multiply that by 0.8 so maximum that i can get from a 400 watt uh, switch mode power supply will gonna be like a 350 watt uh, that's it so i bought anyway something that i can use it it's gonna be like external power supply which uh, is similar to our uh, um uh, pc power supply or laptop uh, power supply just externally that will be like uh, 24 volts uh, 8 amperes that's good enough uh, for my uh, for my listening pleasures uh, i would say but i mentioned that i would like to maximize the power capability it's because uh, the tpa 3255 is already there as a module and it can deliver amount of power that is huge amount of power for home entertainment for that kind of um, listening pleasures um, not probably a critical listening but I prefer the listening pleasures. And I'm not hunger for power. That's why, um, I mean, I'm not really hunger for power, which is why I'm pushing the TPA3255 to be supplied with enough power. So my application actually is just only for my apartment. Uh, but who knows? Uh, anyone knows that uh, probably one of our viewers are looking for a high power uh, in a home environment maybe or maybe some uh, small hall or some auditorium and uh, he wanted to use that uh, TPA3255 in his own application and that is why I'd like to um, try to find out uh, that kind of power supply that uh, can able to supply the required power for this uh, power amplifiers and you know guys uh, if uh, I'm going to um, just use it uh, what I said that I can find uh, 24 volts uh, and that is uh, 8 amperes uh, and uh, my power amplifiers can deliver much much more than what is uh, the current capable of the power supply right now it is just like uh, wasting 
the uh, capability of the power supply, I mean the power amplifier data, I should choose like the TPE 3250 then, and I can use uh, 24 volts and 8 amperes, that would be good already. So what I'm trying to say then is that if I'm going to use the TPE 3255 and supply only with the 24 volts, 8 amperes, the power, ampli the power amplifier module, which is the class D TPE 3255, can be called as overkill because the why I choose this one if my power up power supply can only deliver this much uh, that's overkill already in my own uh, uh, judgment therefore I will not going to use the TPA 3255 I should use uh, the TPA 3250 which is matching the power supply and there will be no overkill well if I put that into another analogy it's like um, uh, your power amplifier can deliver this, uh, they say, a uh, 300 watt uh, per channel. Well, um, let's just say for that for argument's sake. Uh, but you should see my report, uh, my electrical performance test. Uh, and I claim that uh, this is the power capability of the TPA3255 at 8 ohms load and 4 ohms load. Um, following the FTC part 16. That is the title 16 port 32, which is making use of the sine wave, 1 kilohertz, 1% 1 distortion, and 10% uh, distortion. So you should see my report, guys, and you will take a look at the real stuff that I'm doing and performing on the TPE-325X series. Now, let's go back to that overkill. That. So if your power amplifiers can really can deliver this much, and you're only utilizing it this much, um, it's just like... Um, you are utilizing a 10-wheeler truck to carry this piece of equipment here from A to point B. That is my analogy about overkill. I say again that if you wanted to carry this piece of equipment stable in here from point A to point B, let's just say the distance is about 5 kilometers and using a 10-wheeler truck, that is overkill already. That's what I meant by that, which is not matching the power amplifier and the power supply. So I think uh, on uh, the DIYers point of view like me, the challenge right now is how to find um, the right power supply to power up uh, the maximum power capability of this TPA325X series, the one that I have right now. I mentioned again, the TPA3255, which is the biggest brother, the highest power, the middle power, the TPA3251, and the lowest power among this series is the TPA3250. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to uh, point it out in this video and stressing how to get the right uh, power supplies uh, that uh, really really small enough uh, form factors um, and uh, can be able to leverage a small uh, uh, package, uh, package uh, the small enclosures like uh, what i have right now with uh, this uh, specification here and i think that uh, it is not a dream to have that kind of power supply i have this uh, brj hi-fi which is the made by a Chinese uh, local manufacturers uh, and they were able to make uh, this power supply compact enough uh, that can able to power up uh, the uh, TPA3255. Uh, I'm trying to contact them to have these uh, power supplies uh, but uh, frankly speaking they haven't replied to me if I can avail uh, like one or two pieces just only to make my samples uh, because uh, I'm really trying hard to get uh, a sample of that uh, uh, Swiss mode power supply that I can put inside this aluminum enclosure so it's gonna be like uh, a one power amplifier set powered by a 220 volts AC there is another reason why I need the AC in here so that uh, I can be able to control all the different uh, power supplies uh, I mean uh, I have another video for that which is uh, I do not like to uh, um, discuss it in details right now, but
but uh, I need that capability from the 220 versa because of the power management uh, when I'm using this power amplifiers uh, at night uh, and my listening pleasures going to bed going to sleep loud enough to make me enjoy it feel that so-called uh, listening pleasures uh, not the critical listening then uh, when I sleep uh, it's all power of uh, the power amplifier and the source of music uh, to conserve uh, power for a clean and green environment to save power for our future generation for the mother earth so takeaways from this video is that um, if you are using the ppa325x series uh, as a standalone just uh, for listening pleasures uh, you might uh, think uh, to uh, categorize the power amplifier output uh, like uh, the big brother the highest uh, power levels uh, the middle brothers uh, which is also the middle power capability and uh, the younger brothers which is uh, the lowest power among the series uh, you need to think about that one in relation to your power supply capability like uh, you need a high power you need also 48 volts uh, that can deliver up to 600 watt of power you need the middle one which is uh, we need a 36 volts uh, and at least about 400 watt of power uh, and finally the uh, uh, lowest powers uh, which is the tp 3250 you need 30 volts uh, and about uh, 200 or 250 watt of power much better if you have 300 watt of power then you can able to maximize the power capability of your power amplifiers again make it sure that um, you get the matching so there will be no overkill and this is uh, the point here of this video for matching your power supply and your power amplifier modules all right guys uh, you know what to do at the end of the video sir uh, i hope you can help me to maintain my status here in youtube by subscribing clicking that subscribe button below all right thank you very much uh, thank you very much for your time thank you very much for watching these videos and thank you very much for your suggestion about um, the sweet smooth power supply that we can use it uh, in our class b power amplifier it's ferdinand and once again bye for now and see you in the next video